welcome to my channel. I'm Andre. Today's video is a tag video and the tag is the luxury diary tag and I was tagged by Minx for All. Thank you very much my lovely friend for tagging me. So um, before I get onto the tag, um, I'm supposed to be actually uh, packing because we're off on a tiny little trip. My son, daughter-in-law and grandson are moving back to the UK, so exciting times. So an opportunity to do some shopping, so I'm going to go and meet up with them. So I'm supposed to be getting organised and um, I thought instead I would jump on, do this tag because, you know, I like to get a video out at least once a week and... Um, I'm also having a wee glass of wine. I haven't had one all week, so this is really quite exciting. So good. So I'll quickly do this before my husband starts moaning and groaning that I'm supposed to be getting organised, you know, as husbands do. So, um, yeah. So the tag is the luxury diary tag. And question number one is, and I'm going to do this really quickly, what bag would you replace if all the ones you currently have disappeared my goodness um a classic flap a chanel classic flap would be the one i would instantly replace because it just even every time i get my classics out it just makes me go oh it, it still excites me would it be the jumbo would it be the medium large i don't know I've, I've always said i cannot decide between the two bags but i'm currently using my jumbo this is my most used bag but when i was going to get the um classic and if i could only have one it would be the medium because i feel it's just a little more versatile and um, you know I'm, uh, by the way i'm looking a bit all over the place because it's not a planned video just threw on some makeup brushed my hair and this is what it looks like so question number two what jewelry or accessory item is the most uh, sentimental or special to you now, this is so hard because all my jewellery is sentimental and means something to me. I mean, you know, if I lost, for example, my pearl necklace that my mum and dad got me, I couldn't replace that. It wouldn't be that pearl necklace. I, I couldn't choose one bit of jewellery. It all has a meaning. You know, jewellery is not a thing that I buy on a whim. It's something that's given to me on an occasion or has I've bought it to... Um, remind me of something so um all my jewelry is sentimental to me so there you go um if you could teleport anywhere one day to shop where would you go would it either be new york or paris because i love when i see all the instagram pictures when they're on the stairway you know in the apartments of coco chanel and all that so where would I, right now, somebody came up to me and said, Andre, where would you like to go right now? It would be New York. <laughs> okay, question number four. What do you think is the biggest misconception uh, about luxury YouTubers, Instagrammers? Uh, probably that um, they've nothing better to do than to buy luxury. There's nothing else going on in their life. Um, to buy luxury which actually I think is the exact opposite I think for me luxury is you know I have a lot of things that make me feel good in my life I have my grandchildren my family family time is very special to me is the most special thing to me but I'll tell you it still feels good when I go into a Chanel boutique and I get myself a wee Chanel bag so um yeah, you know, I think the majority of us have come from humble beginnings and maybe people don't see that side. They probably think, you know, we've loads of money and so on and so forth. Um, but, um, but in saying that, I think the majority of people that watch these videos, they know, you know, we're all the same. You know, we appreciate luxury goods. So I think the ones that have a misconception are a minority. I, I I personally think because I think you know I think we're all kind of we all have the same the majority of us have the same appreci appreciation of these luxury goods so I think the ones that have a misconception are uh, a very small minority and not worth worrying about um what 
uh, yeah what do you think right what is one item you thought you would never own in your lifetime and now you do there you go there she is right there the classic flap never ever thought and it's not that I didn't have the money to get it it's the fact that I thought that amount of money on a bag really I don't think so but um you know when you look at somebody with dementia and you think what are you working for for what and then you don't know that whatever you know you realize how short life is and sometimes you just need to go and get that thing that your heart is gonna sing for so yep yeah. my chanel bag bags plural uh, I think I've, I've, I think that was question six, but anyway, never mind. Got the two questions. So the next question: What is one store that makes you feel the most special or excited when you go in? That would be, you know, I go into a lot that I feel quite excited about, but the one that really excites me is a Chanel boutique and Cartier. I love the jewellery in Cartier. But in saying that, you know, Dior service was amazing. But for me, you know, Chanel just has that pull for me. Uh, describe your style on three words. I would say classic, chic and quite sporty. Uh, question eight. A luxury brand you try to love and get into but you just can't. That would be Fendi. I've looked at the Fendi bags. I've looked at the Peekaboo. I look at it on other people, I love it, I go look at it, doesn't do it for me. Um, question nine, uh, if you could spend one day with any designer, who would it be? And I'm going to shock you, it's Victoria Beckham. Just appeals to me, I'd just love to spend a day to see how much actual input she has into the brand. And um, yeah, just, I would just, that's the one for me you know um question number 10 confess what is next on your wish list so that would be either the diorama bag or the coco handle and of course coco handle is not referred to as the coco handle over here it's referred to as the flap with the top handle so that's exactly what i'm going to go and look at and it'll probably i'm looking at an ivory type of color to go with my manolo blanik shoes and um, that's it's uh, you know I think I'm swaying now more towards the um, Coco handle but we'll see you know I might not get either of them I'm gonna try them on if I can and um, see and if that bag is calling my name then it's coming home with me if not I'm more than happy with the bags I have and I'm sure I'll be able to pull a bag out of my wardrobe that will match those shoes and make it work so that's the tag so I'm now going to tag some ladies and I can't actually remember who's done it and who hasn't done it but I'll just throw out some names there randomly if you haven't done it you're more than welcome to do the tag and uh, first of all I'm going to go with my friend uh, Mo Mandy G, Emma Anders, Bipolar Max, Cadell, um, Lily MLV, Lady B, B Rachel, Dion Ward, uh, Amy Elizabeth and fashionably Amy. There's a few names thrown out there. And um, so ladies, I hope you can do the tag if you haven't already done it because I can't honestly remember who has and who hasn't done it. And um, remember to give me a thumbs up and uh, if you're not already subscribed then please subscribe and remember i'm now going to be vlogging my wee trip and i'll try and do a bit of you know wherever i am you know buying shopping and you'll see all that in the vlog and if i buy anything remember to subscribe to catch that video and um yeah i'll catch you later bye oh <laughs> cheers So good and you've not had a drink for a week and that is so good mm -hmm.